Now, President Cyril Ramaphosa's State of the Nation address is 37 pages and more than 8,000 words long, yet for all of its potential to revitalize South Africa's economy, the word rail gets mentioned only seven times and still the president admits our country cannot grow without proper railway infrastructure. Now, we hear one of the world's most luxurious train services, our very own blue train, stands derailed, as Annika just explained. Transnet says its coaches came off tracks in November, and then when these coaches went in for repairs in Pretoria, one of them caught fire and a suspected arsonist was arrested. Two other suspects are still at large. The United National Transport Union's Sonia Carstens is closely following all these developments. She joins us live now. Uh, Sonia, thanks for joining us. Us. Uh, I'm going to ask you this. I'm not sure if you if you have any answers, but maybe you have uh, some uh, some information you've you've come across. A any idea why the blue train derailed uh, quite a few times? I know there can be several reasons: mechanical, it could be the track, it could be human error. Any idea? Good morning and thank you for having us. According to our information, the blue train was standing at a yard in Germiston overnight. Very strangely at a yard in Germiston, as you, its depot is in Salvo Corp in Pretoria, very close by. But it was left overnight at the yard and the brakes was on. There was the blocks behind the wheels, in other words, to prevent it from derailment. Yet it still uh, went off a uh, runaway train, 13 coaches derailed. Then there was another incident in January just this year in the shunting yard uh, um, of the blue train in Salvacorp where there was another derailment, not as serious as the one in November, but still. And those coaches went in for repair at Transnet Engineering in Kuruspoort when there was a, 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 a cable theft incident. Uh, apparently, there were some sparks, and then the one coach caught fire. But it is quite serious. One must recall that the Blue Train is the flagship of Transnet Freight Rail. It's, it's well known globally and very, very popular. So if we've got three incidents in, in two months, it's a, a reason to be concerned. Uh, Sonia, uh, after seeing the, the, the visuals of the blue train on fire, I went online, looked at some of the reviews of the experiences people have had on the blue train, and uh, they are mixed reviews, but mostly not very good, ranging from extremely disappointing on so many levels. Don't go until the train is, uh, gets its act together, and then you get a few here and there where they say great dining, lovely stuff. Uh, what's your take on the state of the blue train before it was taken out of commission recently was it still the flagship you mentioned well the blue train is subjected to the very same problems as transnet freight rail experience when they have to 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 move goods and 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 uh, commodities and it's also the very same problem transnet uh, the passenger rail agency of south africa is experiencing if there's vandalism of the rail infrastructure whether or not it's cable theft whether or not it's normal theft there will be delays and the trains won't be able to move. Now, Transnet and Praza has reported unprecedented vandalism and theft since the start of the hard lockdown in, May, in March 2020. We've reported it numerous times to government, but still nothing is seen to be done. And then we must also remember that uh, the, uh, the, 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 that Transnet was the prime site, that was the words used by Judge Raymond Zondu, of state capture responsible for 72% of all the irregular tender contracts. So one must realize that obviously there's been five individuals identified to be prosecuted, and that's the recommendation of the Zonda Commission, but it could never have been limited to only them. And we experience sabotage in all over Transnet's operational divisions, whether or not it's incidents of fuel theft at Transnet pipelines, whether or not it's an arson attack in the, in the, in the Transnet port terminals when we saw the, the fire in Richards Bay Harbour, followed by another fire in Durban Harbour, whether or not it's uh, the latest incident at Transnet Engineering, or whether or not it's all this vandalism of our rail infrastructure, which is leaving our trains unable to move. So we should seriously look at this as a country as what is really going on here, or is it just normal theft? And we don't think so. 
So obviously you're worried about the serious assault on Transnet's infrastructure, and uh, the president did speak briefly about Transnet. Did his, did his words do anything to allay your concerns? No, not at all. The president's plan of, of getting money to fix the railway infrastructure and to fix the infrastructure of our ports is to get third parties to, to invest. But how will a third party help? If you are the third party, you will be faced with the very same problem Transnet Freight Rail is currently being faced with. If there's cable theft, the train won't move. So it's not a, a situation of change the operator to a third party. You'll only be using the third party's money to fund what was stolen during state capture.